So I'm sure you've gathered by now that this week's videos are all about pivot tables. But what we have done so far is we've only looked at the analysis of one worksheet. We've only dug into this register log. But there's more in our spreadsheet, right? We have the list of beers. In addition to the times and the quantities, we also have different beers. And they are related, in a sense, to the beers in our beer list. And we have more information there because we, can, we add a brewery here. We know the type of the beer. We know the alcohol percentage. So we would like to analyze that, for instance, what is the alcohol percentage of our most sold beer, something like that. But we can't do that now because we don't have that information in our pivot table. We only have the information of the register log. So this video is all about how to combine multiple worksheets together into an overview pivot table. What we could do, of course, maybe you were yelling this again to your computer screen, is we could use a VLOOKUP. So if you want to have the brewery associated with each beer, we could just use a VLOOKUP. We set, of course, the final parameter to false. You know that by now. And then we have the brewery for each beer. And then we could do an analysis on the breweries. However, if we would continue this, we hold in the brewery, but we also hold in the alcohol percentage and the type and the category of beer, we get a lot of duplication. Basically, we're going to repeat the entire beers worksheet in the register log beer sheet. And what I hope you take away from this course is that you should really be aware of duplication. If you're doing the same thing a lot of times, probably you're not doing things in the easiest way. Because I'm sure there's always a way to do things once and to repeat the analysis from there. So I hope maybe in a year or two and you're working on your spreadsheet and you think, hey, I've done this before an hour ago. I hope you remember me and you think, oh, duplication is not a good idea. There should be an easier way to do this. I'm going to present that easier way to you in this video. So I promised you all the way back like three videos ago that this adding things to the data model is really important. And I'm going to come back at that promise right now. So we've added this data to the data model. It is stored somewhere. If we're going to do the same thing with our beers, we're making a pivot table of the beer list. And again, we're adding this data to the data model. We're putting it in another worksheet. I've made a worksheet called Beers Pivot. And this is where we place the pivot table for the beer list. So what you see here now, exactly as we saw in the previous pivot table, we have all the fields from our worksheet there. And we can do nice analysis on it, analyses on it, like the brewery, what is the number of different beers from this brewery. And we can sort, and then we can see this first brewery, the Mid Midnight Sun Brewery, has 51 different beers. But what we're actually calculating now is the number of beers in the beer list, in this worksheet. There's no relation yet to the beers that we in our bar are actually selling. This is not the beers we're counting. We're counting the beers from the beer list. So now here's where the data model comes in. If we go to all data, we see that in addition to the data from this worksheet that we're analyzing right now, also the information from the register log is there. And this is because we have previously added this data to the data model. We can use the same data from the first pivot table in our second pivot table. So we've previously added this to the data model. That's what matters here. So now we can change our analysis. We can say, hey, we don't want to have the number of beers from the beer list. No, we want to have the number of beers from the register. That's the field that we want to add. So let's take that field, throw this away, and we drag in the number of beers. Now something interesting happens. Excel says, hey, I don't know how to do this. These two things aren't related. Basically what Excel is asking us, I don't know that VLOOKUP, the VLOOKUP that we manually made in the beginning, Excel doesn't know how to handle it. So we have to tell him what the exact relation between those two fields are. And you can see here how we do that. The things we were coupling in the VLOOKUP, we couple them together again. And if we do that now, we sort our data, then we can see 
what brewery sells the most popular beer in our actual bar. So we've made the connection between those two worksheets by adding both of them to the data model and then telling Excel the beer field in our register log is related to the name field in our beer list. And then we can make an analysis based on two different worksheets, all with pivot tables.